my dear students in this video we will discuss inserting an element before a given element in a singly linked list let us see the operation of inserting an element before a given element in a singly linked list let us consider key as the element before which we have to make an insertion so we have to search for key in the linked list before key we have to make an insertion let us consider item as the element to be inserted before key that means in the linked list we search for key before key we insert this item yes there are three possible cases as follows case 1 when start is equal to null see when start is equal to null there is no linked list when there is no linked list there is no possibility of getting key in the linked list finding key in the linked list and hence there is no possibility of insertion there is no singly linked list and hence key cannot be found in the list that's all very simple case 2 if the key is found in the first node yes yes it's the first case when there is only one node and the key is found in that node only or when the linked list has many nodes but the key is found in the first node yes key is found here key is found here so case 2 if the key is found in the first node next case 3 if the key is found anywhere after the first node yes let us consider this uh, linked list five nodes are there so key may be found at 20 30 40 or 50 before this we have to make an insertion that means we have to insert before 20 or before 30 before 40 or before 50 whichever is the key i think these three cases we should uh, understand the logic of inserting case 1 start is equal to null case 2 if the key is found in the first node case 3 if the key is found anywhere after the first node now case 1 when start is equal to null there is no singly linked list and hence key cannot be found in the list yes simple logic if the key is found in the first node yes here we will assume key is equal to 10 and item is equal to 90 so we have to search for key that is 10 and before 10 we have to make an insertion of 90 so before 10 90 should be inserted yes so let us consider both the cases meaning when only one node is there and that node only contains key or many nodes are there and key is there in the first node yes right now you can just see start of info is equal to key in both the cases start of info is equal to 10 and key also equal to 10 therefore start of info is equal to key if start of info is equal to key meaning if the key is found in the first node so what we have to do we have to first create a new node which is pointed by p yes p is equal to struct node star malloc size of struct node then put item into p that is p of info is equal to item yes 90 will go here p of info is equal to item now carefully understand 90 has to be inserted before 10 therefore what should happen to p of next p of next should contain the address of start that is p of next is equal to start yes p of next is equal to start now what should happen to start start should it contain 10 only or should it come back and contain the address of 90 because 90 is inserted before 10 yes start should contain the address of 90 therefore start is equal to p in both the cases start is equal to p start is equal to p start is equal to p now you can just observe 90 is inserted before 10 yes i think this logic is quite simple quite simple So there is uh, no difficulty here very simple and straight forward logic now let us discuss case 3 if the key is found anywhere after the first node yes let us assume key is equal to 40 and item is equal to 90 and this is our linked list 10 20 30 40 and 55 nodes are there and key 40 is also found in the linked list yes now we have to search for key in the list and also have a pointer to the previous node of the key node we should have a follow pointer meaning we should not only have a pointer to 40 we should also get a pointer to the node 
30 because we are inserting before 40. If you have to insert before 40, you require two pointers, a pointer to 40 and also a pointer to the node 30. Yes, we will, we will do the follow pointer. Temp is equal to start. Yes, temp is equal to start. Now, what is temp of info? 10. What is key? 40. Are they equal? No. Temp of info not equal to key. 10 is not equal to 40. And temp is not equal to null because temp is containing the address of the node 10. Now, since temp of info not equal to key and temp not equal to null, follow is equal to temp and temp is equal to temp of next. Yes, follow is equal to temp. Yes, follow will come here and temp will go to the next node. Yes. Now, temp is containing the address of the node 20. <clears throat> what is temp of info? Temp of info is equal to 20. Key is 40. So, temp of info not equal to key and temp not equal to null because temp is containing the address of the node 20. Therefore, follow is equal to temp. Yes, temp is equal to temp of next. Yes. Now, temp is containing the address of the node 30. What is temp of info? 30. Key is 40. So, temp of info not equal to key and temp also is not equal to null because temp is containing the address of the node 30. Therefore, follow is equal to temp. Yes. And temp is equal to temp of next. Very good. Now, temp is containing the address of the node 40. Carefully understand, temp of info is equal to 40 and key also equal to 40. Therefore, temp of info now becomes equal to key. Therefore, we stop. The while loop will stop. Now, so what should be the while loop that we have to write? While temp of info not equal to key and temp not equal to null. So, what are the two things? Follow is equal to temp and temp is equal to temp of next. So, when you come out of the while loop, suppose if temp is equal to null, it means key is not found in the list. If temp is equal to null, insertion is not possible as key is not found. Now, temp is pointing to the node containing key. That is, temp is pointing to 40. Follow is pointing to the previous node of the key node. It is previous node of 40. Yes, very good. Now, else, when the key is found, so what we have to do? We have to get a new node which is pointed by P. Yes. And item is also inserted. Item is 90 in this case. Therefore, 90. So, P of info is equal to none. item. That is 90. Now, what we have to do? What is follow of next? Follow of next is equal to P. Yes, follow of next is equal to P. And what is P of next? P of next should contain the address of the node 40 and the address of the node 40 is in temp. Therefore, P of next is equal to temp. So, P of next is equal to temp. That's all. Return start. That's all. You can just see 90 is inserted before 40. That is in between 30 and 40. I think this logic is quite simple. Case 3, if the key, if the key is found anywhere after the first node. I think this logic is quite simple. 90 is inserted before 40 years. Now, directly we should go to the function. So, insert SLL before me. Uh, uh, inserting before a given element in a single linked list. Yes, start, key and item. Yes. If start is equal to null, no linked list. Therefore, list is empty. If start of info is equal to key, when the key is found in the first node, this case 1, uh, case 2 logic, we already discussed this logic. This is case 3, temp is equal to start. And for searching the key, while temp of input not equal to key and temp not equal to null, follow is equal to temp, temp is equal to temp of next. If temp is equal to null, insertion is not possible as key is not found in the list. Otherwise, just now we discuss the logic. Create a new node, p of input is equal to item, follow of next is equal to p, p of next is equal to temp, return start. That's all. Uh, case, three cases are there, case 1, case 2, case 3. So, case by, if you understand the logic, uh, so totally understanding the function for inserting an element before a given uh, element in a singly linked list is quite simple, uh, quite easy.